Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Two Phones back again with another informative video. Now, this video is basically the next video after the previous video I just uploaded. I'm going to show you guys um, about RCS and stuff like that. So, um, let's get a look. Let's get a little background about RCS real quick. Let me go ahead and go to my browser. All right, let me go to all right. Android RCS. All right, we're going to do that real fast, okay? So, all right, let me just take Verge. All right, RCS, the successor to SMS, is not live for all U.S. Android users. All right, so basically, um, Google said that it was starting to roll out RCS chat on the successor to SMS as Android's primary texting platform. And as of um, Monday this past week, um, if you are an Android user or any carrier in the U.S., you should not be able to use it, though you may need to update your messages app and carrier settings. All right. So that's from you know, Android 30. All right, in theory, RCS um, messaging um, should be an improvement over regular SMS as it supports um, re recipients. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Type uh, typing indicators, and it's better for group chats, unlike Apple's iMessage, though RCS doesn't support end to end encryption. <coughs> oh, excuse me. RCS uh, doesn't support end-to-end -end encryption, so you'll need to use a third-party app like Signal if you want to send encrypted messages. Uh, all right, so basically, it's a iMessage for Android. And how do you get this activated? What you want to do is you want to go to your your Google Play Store, right? All right, so then you want to type in messages. All right, you want to type in that. And it should be like one of the first five, perhaps. So where it says Google LLC messages, this is it. Now I am on the beta, shout out to the beta squad, because we always get the latest and greatest updates and features. So join the beta. All right, so um, you install it. I already have it installed. This is the application down here at the bottom, right here, this little blue icon right here. Now, most people, if you're on a uh, Motorola or Google Pixel or a ZTE phone or maybe a blue phone, you'll have this already pre-installed on your Android device. Now, for those on LG, um, OnePlus, maybe Samsung, you'll have a different device based on your carrier or if it's um, unlocked, it just depends. All right, so how do you get it to activate? It's simple. You go to the, you tap it up. You go through the three dots right here at the top. You tap on that. Then you tap on settings right here. I'm circling settings. So you tap on settings. See where it says chat features? Chat features. All right. So you go there. Now it says chat feature status. Connected. Chat features are ready for use. You enable chat features use. Wi-Fi or data for messaging when available. Send uh, read uh, receipts. Okay, let others know you've read their messages. Show typing indicators. You have the option for that. Resend message if undelivered. All right, you have an option for that. Auto download files you receive over mobile data up to 105 megabytes. Now, if you got unlimited data or some type of, you know, um, data plan, make sure you keep that in mind. If somebody's sending you a file up to 105 megabytes, make sure you have enough data to cover that up. So I would say if you're not on a data plan, like more than eight gigs or even five gigs, I'll say if you're not on a data plan that's over five gigs, you might want to up to unlimited data because that if someone sends you files that's higher than 105 or up to 105 that would eat up your data very quickly so free plans are technically <laughs> not going uh to be suitable for that if they don't come with some type of data unless it's you know government funded um cell phone service all right and some of them come with like two or three gigs every month 
you know, depending on your situation. So, uh, right here, I'm just going to open up my Verizon, uh, my visible wireless um, service. Now, as you can see, um, as you can see, um, I have um, different features and uh, different options to instantly reply. I'm going to go ahead and just test this out real quick. So, I'm just sending that to myself. I also got an option um, to send a GIF. I can send a GIF. So, let me go ahead and do that real fast. All right. So, I'm sending that. And as you can see, I am over Wi-Fi. And the service I'm using to demonstrate this is free up mobile. And I'm sending it to my visible uh, wireless uh, SMS. So, I'm going to try to reply. And I'm going to show you exactly what this is doing. Um, let me see. So, as you can see. Right there, it said that I'm typing on my visible wireless um, account, which also I have that activated with RCS using the Google Messages. All right, so now I'm sending a message, says scene, as you can see, boom. All right, nothing much. All right, so now you can do more than that. So let me see, let me demonstrate you. Let me demonstrate that for a second. Let me go back home. Let me go to Chrome. Let me just go ahead and send this message out. Let me uh, hit the share button. Uh, let me go to, uh, let me see if I can get the link. All right, copy to clipboard. Let me go back home. Let me go back to messages. And let me go to chat messages and paste. Now I'm going to paste this article link. And as you can see, you get a preview image. And I just received it on my visible account. I get the preview image for some reason I didn't get it on visible, which is very weird, but all right, let me see. All right. So now you can see I'm still typing. All right. With the visible number. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. So here we go. All right. So I can send an emoji. All right. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and send a YouTube link. Now, this is another one. I'm going to send my old link. I was just watching that because I'm impressed. I almost got 6,000 views on that live stream. Just to let y'all know. All right. So, I'm going to paste that. And I'm going to show you guys exactly what it's doing. All right. So, you can say that I read it. It shows that I read. And on my visible, it shows that I'm typing. All right. So, boom. I sent the link. I sent my own link to it. All right. And nice. All right, and boom. So now red, sent, boom. So now you can see it. And you can instant reply or you can type it out yourself. You can send images. Let me see if I can send a screenshot. Um, Here we go. Let me see. Uh, All right, so I'm going to send that out. Set the screenshot. Showing screenshot of activate, deliver. All right, it can show you that. And... Now it's just shows me typing on visible. And boom. That is how RCS works. It works over data, mobile, mobile data, and it also works over um, Wi-Fi. Now the thing is, the one thing I don't like about Android messages is the fact that, as you can see, I'm struggling to go to the back, but I have to physically hit the backspace and then open it back up to go back. Which I think that's a Google message thing going on. I don't know if anybody else is having that issue. But I'm having that issue on the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus. So this is just a quick video, a rundown and demo. Uh, showing you how RCS works. How to activate it. Uh, how to get it um, now. Anybody in the US can get this right now. Uh, using Google's messages app from the Google Play Store. You have it on any Android device. Um... Just set it up. Once again, you go to the three little dots here at the top. Three little dots here at the top. You tap on them. You go to settings. And then um, chat features right up here at the top. All right. You tap on that. Um, it'll let you know if you're you're connected or do you have to connect or verify. And give you all those options. Then all these options are available. Turn on all those options so you'll know. All right, let me know your thoughts um, in the comment section below about RCS. Um, has it made a big difference um, to you as a user on Android? Um, 
and whatnot. And what what do you uh like or what you don't like about RCS? All right. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. It's your boy, Two Phones.